what's up guys it's been a while it's good to be back i think i haven't played this map for like two months or something and i just logged in and i just saw i have so much fish i don't know why <laughs> so it seems like i've been fishing on this map I, I don't even remember it just making no progress making no youtube video but fishing actually before i start recording i was thinking about what to do for this episode and uh, i was thinking about making some sort of uh hello some sort of automatic farm i mean like farm for food but um just logged in and just saw <laughs> so much fish and the wheat and i got farmlands going on i was like huh do i really need to to make a automatic farm or anything but anyway, I'm going to make a farm in this episode, and I think I'm going to start with an automatic chicken incinerator. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, I'm gonna design a thing in the test world, because I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Alright, gonna need bucket of lava. Where is bucket of lava? Huh, where, where is it? Seriously. Where is lava? I can't play Minecraft. What's the most ugly slab we can get? Dark Prince Marine. I choose you. Okay, so we're gonna make a new Lua file. I'm gonna call it Chicken. Cause why not? I think this one's going to be simple. It's just going to be Wow True Do and Wow, I don't remember anything about Lua. Damn. We're gonna set a redstone signal. So it's redstone dot set output. And we're gonna put it to sleep for one second. So these two lines are gonna repeat forever. Basically what it does is every second it's gonna set a true signal to the back side. And thinking about it, I'm actually not sure about if I should set a false signal like just right after. Because it should should be like turning on and off the dispenser. I'm afraid it's gonna just like turn it on forever, but let's try this first. Gonna chicken. Okay, I heard one click and then it stopped. So that means we do need to turn off the signal after. So after we set a true signal, we're gonna set set it back to false immediately. Let's run chicken. It's not ticking. Should I insert one more sleep in between? Sleep 0 0.1. Let's try this. Chicken. Oh. Sounds like it's working. Nice. Let's put some eggs in the hopper. See what happens. Nice, so every second we're shooting out. Wait. <laughs> okay, okay, so the hopper, okay. <laughs> okay, the, the dispenser is facing the wrong direction, but it's working. <laughs> it's working. It's working just not in the expected way. <laughs> you guys know that meme that, that my code works, but it works in a unexpected way. Okay, I think I just fixed the orientation of the dispenser and we're gonna make a second try. Put eggs in there. Chicken. Ooh, raining. Alright, thanks for working. Good. I wonder what's the optimal duration to sleep during the true and false. I think 0 0.1 is pretty fast, but. I think I put smaller value, but that's gonna put more strain on the CPU for sure. If I put a bigger value, then I think it's gonna work just fine. Let's put 0 0.5 here and 0 0.5 here. So that would be roughly just one cycle per second. Let's try again. Yeah, perfect. I think I can make it more compact by putting computer here and put the chest here break this for now like this and 
And this is how compact we can get with computer. Okay, now I'm going to build this in survival. My chickens are running away. No. All right, so construction has completed. Look at this. It's all for efficiency. And uh, meanwhile, I think I'm just gonna wait for the chicken inside to grow up and maybe put some more inside. Imagine if I fall inside this hole. I will delete this this world. Okay, I caught this enough. I, I'm just gonna wait and see. All right, so I'm going to wait a bit and see if I get anything in the, in the chest. Okay, a cobblestone. Nice. All right, so I waited for a while and there are only four cooked chickens in the chest. So I think, well, clearly the farm is working as expected. I'm getting cooked chicken in the chest. Oh, there, just got one. But um, it's not fast enough. So I think I'll just expand this design to make it a dual core or even quad core chicken processor. Okay, there's one thing I just realized. So currently what we do is basically every half second we switch the dispenser on and off so that it just keeps dispensing eggs into this area. But actually if we want to do it better, we can use a turtle here instead of computer. So if we put it on turtle, we can use turtle API. I think it's called suck up. So with this, we can uh, extract the eggs basically from the dispenser above into its own inventory. And then it can count like how many eggs there are and then put the eggs back into the dispenser and activate dispenser five times basically. So that is arguably like more efficient. Had a chicken. Gonna start with wild chew. So wild chew, we're gonna, we're gonna suck item from above and then we're gonna get item count. It's turtle that will get get item count. And then I'm gonna do um turtle that will drop up. So that's going to put X back near dispenser. And then I'm gonna activate the uh, dispenser this number of times. For example, if there are five X, then it's going to activate the dispenser five times. So I'm gonna do a for loop. So for I is equal to one up to count and then do redstone come on keyboard keyboard is dead come on come on come on Because I shut down my computer, I just lost all my progress. Story of my life. So after count, we're gonna do turtle dot drop up. How do you even drop up? If it's up, it should be throw. Set output top false. And end. Okay, that should be it. And then I'm gonna run chicken. Got an error on line three. Well, apparently Lua doesn't support continue. The way to do it is to put a label at the end of the loop and just call go to label instead of continue. But arguably this is more clear what it's doing. So if you don't understand what continue means, then this is what continue means. It means when the program hits continue, in this case it hits go to label, then it's going to where the label is. So it's going to skip all of this and then just go to the end of the loop. That's what it does. It's getting dark. Let's just give it a quick try. What? Okay, when I was trying to run this code, I get an error like this. So I spent like way too much time debugging this issue and it turns out it's something related to Lua in computer craft, I think. 
So yeah, so the problem looks like this. So this is a program that I wrote um, in my own computer. That this is written in an actual computer, not in Minecraft. So the problem is, basically it doesn't support the go to and the label syntax. So this is a very simple example code. Here's a label. What the label does is it just marks a location in the program. And the very first line in the program we say go to label, that means we directly um, jump to this location here and then continue to execute the code from here. So if you see I have this statement print zero, this will be completely <clears throat> this will be completely um, skipped because of the go to label combination here. And the only thing it's going to do is going to print one. So if you see, if I run this program on my computer like this, it's going to print one exactly like that. But here in computer craft, here I have the same, exactly the same code. And if I try to run this, it's going to give me this kind of error. So I'm not exactly sure why this is happening, if this is intentional. Maybe just computer craft was using a, like a really old version of Lua or something. Or maybe this is a, just a disabled feature for say security reasons or whatever. But yeah, for now we just have to live without it, which just, I, I don't know. Um, there's always a workaround, but I just spend way too much time on this. All right, let's fix this code. You know, at the beginning of this recording, I was thinking this episode is going to be short. I basically just wrote a redstone clock inside of computer craft. At this point, I really didn't expect to like debug this kind of issue for this long. I, I spent like half an hour just trying to figure out what's going on. But anyway, we're going to finish it. So um, here, we can now use go to. Then we're just going to use a simple if statement. If we got item, then. Right, that's more straightforward. All right, this should do it. And then run it. Was that right? <laughs> it worked, but but I think it's it's not, it's not right. It's not supposed to like repeatedly suck item from dispenser. Supposed to just suck the items, um, count them, and then just activate the dispenser that many times. What the hell? It works, but that is not how it's supposed to work. Oh, I see. We should add an interval here. Did you guys get it? <laughs> I probably should, should explain more. So the problem was I didn't, I didn't sleep after set output to false. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna set output to true and then wait a bit, set output to false and then immediately set it back to true. And that won't work. That will just like keep the redstone signal on because there's no delay between the true or false toggle. So the way to do it is to add a delay after turning it to true and after turning it to false. And we can make the delay shorter like this. Then it should all work. All right, chicken. Ooh, look at that. So if I put in 16x, then it's gonna do that. <laughs> Good. What if it has multiple stacks? What's gonna happen? Okay, so it's gonna draw 16 total x from all three slots and then just put in the same slot. And then dispense them all and... Alright, it works. Great. Okay, I said I'm going to expand this thing, but I ended up just like... <laughs> doing some not even like strictly required optimization over the thing and spent like half an hour debugging a computer craft issue or Lua issue, I don't know. I'm not blaming the, the author though, it's an amazing mod, I love it. Uh, I'm just thinking, should I continue to work on this or should I call it a day? Six chicken, I, I should probably work on this. <laughs> yeah, let's make it at least a dual core. All right, this is it for today, guys. Um, it's not a very ambitious episode, I know. Uh, it's not like the DFS stuff we did last time. But, um, you know, it's good for my sanity anyway. <laughs> and trust me, I do have stuff, more interesting stuff planned for the future. Or maybe I should focus on beating the game first. Especially beating the end, because 
Once we have a ton of ender pearls, we can unlock networking. I think that's going to open up so much more opportunities, possibilities. So yeah, so absolutely thank you guys for watching, for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time.